It's Wednesday, July 7th. My name's Juan Brown. You're watching the Blanco Lirio channel out here at the Los Angeles International Airport, getting ready to head on out to Miami this afternoon. In about 10 days on July 17th will be the 25th anniversary of the loss of TWA's Flight 800, the 747 100 series aircraft while on departure from JFK exploded, killing all 230 people on board. And in the news today, the NTSB has for all these years kept the wreckage of the 730 of the uh, TWA Flight 800 in its inspection format assembled all the wreckage of all the pieces of all the wreckage in their training center and has used it as a training aid to train future accident investigators for all these last 25 years. But out of respect for the families, on this anniversary, the 25th anniversary, the NTSB will finally be dismantling the wreckage of the TWA 800 747 aircraft in their training center. They'll be digitizing everything, making it a digital presentation instead, and destroying the wreckage out of the respect for the families. Remember the TWA 800 accident, very controversial accident investigation. The probable cause came down to arcing of the fuel quantity indication system in the center wing tank of the aircraft, exacerbated by the heat produced by the two air conditioning packs located underneath that center wing fuel tank. The captain reported anomalies in the fuel tank quantity indicating system just seconds before the crash when they found the center fuel tank indicator that indicator indicated twice as much fuel as what was actually in the tank at the time so after the most expensive and exhaustive accident investigation in history that's what the prob probable cause came down to on the TWA 800 flight and that resulted in a lot of changes in the industry a lot of changes in how we investigate aircraft accidents but more importantly, over I think a 90 airworthiness directives came out as a result of this, improving the safety and the chances and the probability of having fuel tank explosions like this in future designs and retrofitting older aircraft to bolster their designs. And also resulted in SFAR 88, special FAR 88, which spelled out exactly how to further reduce the possibilities of electrical problems causing explosions in fuel systems on aircraft around the world. And as a result, to this day, in Part 121 airline operations, we've never had another explosion like that of the TWA 800 flight. Thanks so much for your support of this channel and over on Patreon that makes this content possible. Gotta go, go to work. See you here.